Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, yeah 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 yeah, we got uh, what we got over here? Look, we got we got um, Wendy Williams' son explaining why or how she got dementia. Okay, I, I didn't know there was a how, but there's a how to it apparently. All right, uh, we got um, uh, information about a battle rapper being arrested, man. We also got um, uh, the situation with Cam Newton. We're gonna talk about that real quick, man. We got um, uh, we got we got Kanye West saying that Adidas has treated him unfairly, violently unfairly, and we got. Diddy being a victim again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap, man. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is also waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that to your chitin' side, man. Um, uh, Diddy's lawyers, according to allhiphop.com, Diddy's lawyers, right? They're trying to, you know, take another stab at getting a judge to d- dismiss the lawsuit that was filed by a Jane Doe. Now, the Jane Doe is saying that she was gang violated by um, Diddy and his boys. OK, um, Diddy has claimed to be a victim of the cancel culture frenzy. Uh, Kanye has stated that he is being treated unfairly by none other than Adidas, all right? Um, the other day, he had posted an a, a image of himself with the CEO of Adidas, and everything looked like it was, you know, hunky-dory and all of that. I think it was like February 12th, he posted a picture. And he said, you know, hey, hey, I just ran into, into the CEO of Adidas. He just ran and just bumped into him. You never know who you're bumping into, right? Uh, but then, yesterday, Kanye West posted this message concerning Adidas. Take a listen real quick. Let me explain really clear to you guys what's happening with Adidas. It's not only are they putting out fake colorways that are non-approved, they're suing me for $250 million and they're also not paying me for these shoes that they're putting out that have my name on it. And they're using contract clauses and 50 years of business experience to rape an artist one of y'all favorite artists right in front of y'all in broad daylight hey yo kanye said not only are they uh putting out fake colorways that are not approved they're suing me for 250 million and they are also not paying me for these shoes they putting out to have my name on it they're using contract clauses and 50 years of business experience to violate an artist one of y'all favorite artists in broad daylight um, I do not put that past Adidas to do that. You know what I'm saying? I do not 100% put that past them people. You know, these people will use all the business experience that they can to not only <laughs> rob him, right? But also try to put stuff out in his name. I can see that 100%. Okay. Uh, you like, wait, 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 I didn't know Kanye was my favorite artist. Yeah. He's definitely one of your favorite artists. Look, 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 look. Just in case you forgot how incredible Kanye West is, right? This is case you for, as an artist. Take a listen to, um, th- hopefully this will play, right? I'm gonna play the, a clip that'll prove to you that Kanye is one of your favorite artists. Take a look at this favorite artist clip right here. Take a look. Now, that was posted by uh, somebody named, what is it? Kid from Cameland? Kid from Cameland. I, that was, I thought that was excellent. But th- don't that remind you that Kanye... Kanye is that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like lyric, like musically, he is incredible. There's not too many that can match Kanye West. Um, but he's definitely in my top ten. I don't know if I can stick him in my top five though. But I mean, if he ain't five, he's six. You know what I'm saying? Like Kanye's in there, man. You know what I mean? He's in there like swimwear. Anyway, um, oh wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I, I, I listen, 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 listen. Um, so look, y'all probably heard about what went down with Cam Newton, man. You know what I mean? He was he was involved in a bit of a kerfuffle. 
Okay, uh, Bro- Brody had, Brody had to put hands on about three dudes who are said to be part of a crew called the TSP crew, TPS crew. The, I hope it's a, is it the TPS crew or the TSP? Now I gotta go look it up. Good, no, no, I don't really care. All right, um, and look, Cam damn near handled three people simultaneously. Like he was in an episode of Oz or something like that, man. Take a look at what Cam did to these dudes right here, real quick. Take a look. Hey, hey, yo, bro, bro was like out of BC out that piece, right? His hat, his hat ain't even come off his head. You like out of who? Out of BC, man. You don't know who out of the dude was legendary. Sauce, who is out of BC? Don't up you anymore, baby. Wrong. I got a job to do. Let's pay that bill. <laughs> One of, look, one of my favorite. That's got to be one of my favorite characters in Nas. I don't approve of everything he did, but I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> now, look, 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 look. Cam, Cam might be a bit more legendary than Adebisi because Cam did not lose his hat. Adebisi damn near almost never lost his hat either, but he lost it a couple of times. Cam did not lose his hat. You like? Uh, he kind of looked like a wizard with that. Hey, that don't matter. He didn't lose it. He didn't lose his hat. You'd have lost yours. You know what I'm saying? His hat is pretty wild, though. I ain't gonna lie, okay? Look, the man fought three people, and he didn't even lose his hat. That's a major L for the other the, the other guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, but look, why are they doing all that at a youth football game? It was a seven-on-seven seven youth football game in Atlanta. Like, why would you Why would you fight? Like, are we doomed? I think we're doomed. Like, like um, now, I was waiting for an update to, to get more details about the information, but what I did find was the the guy that was being thrown around by Cam. This is what he had to say before the event. Take a listen. Hey, John. Ooh. Hey, John. Hey, man, I'm going to say it. They can't hide the film now. You know what I'm saying? That three times. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not throwing that, none throwing that Atlanta hero quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Just cannot chill. beat me. Can't beat He said, he said, he could. He, um, the guy that can't throw. The guy that got thrown by Cam said the guy that can't throw. Look, I hate pride. Don't you hate pride? I hate pride. Not only is pride the first sin, but it's also the worst sin. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> um, look under that post, people were like, "Yo, what's his act?" So we could drag his ass, and th- and then they posted it. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Hey, look, 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 look. One person, one person went so far as to say, "This is what they said." They said, "Let me see if I can pull it up." They said, um, "They said, in all honesty, it should be no beef with uh, this man, Canberra. How many NFL players come back to their hood and show their face? This is why blacks can't have nothing." Yeah, I'm a, like, I don't, damn. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel like. I feel like, damn. He said, bro literally flexed you and your partner that embarrassing, that's embarrassing, bro. I know you, what does it say? It says, if you tough, hell, we all tough. But to make this video after a slug definitely says a lot more about the defeated than Cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He didn't say. He, I don't think he made the video after. I think he made the video before. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad, bad, bad situation all around, man. I wish it didn't go down like that. I wish we didn't have these kinds of issues, man. But this is why. Like, I was just having a conversation with some kids today, man. I was trying to explain to them. I, I said, you never, you never heard the story. A group of scientists jumped another group of scientists, or a group of scientists jumped this other guy. You know why you never hear about scientists jumping people? Because I don't think that's a smart people thing. You know what I mean? Like, nerds don't do that. You're like, well, nerds are all weak. Not all nerds are weak. I know a lot of people, like, the, like I know a lot of people that are tough and they smart. You know, you're trying to tell me that people that are strong are all dumb? You know what I'm saying? Smart people, I don't think smart people resort to violence first. That's not their first or second or third. You know what I mean? Like, that's the conversation I wind up having with, with people today. I don't think, like, we never hear about big gang fights in Silicon Valley. You know what I mean? I think I think like gang fights and gang act, group fights. That's not a smart people thing. And if you're like, well, no, that's not true. Well, then you, you, you clearly you don't know. Like you don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're proof positive. If you're saying I'm wrong, then you don't know. You're proof of what I'm talking about. And, and chances are you're saying that's not true because I get into fights. Yeah, th- you're not smart. We know that. But you don't know. You can't see that. You know what I'm saying? You think you're smart. 
But everybody around you knows you ain't smart. They just ain't telling you because they know you're this stupid. You're going to probably respond stupidly about it. That's why they don't want to tell you anything. Okay. We just, we just smile and nod with you. Like, yeah, yeah, you got it. You're pretty smart. Yeah, you smart. We rub your back and everything. Yeah, you smart, boy. Whoop, you smart. Uh, where we at over here? Uh, let me see what we got. We got, come on, come on, man. You got, are you ready, bro? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, I love, 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 love. Let, let me do my shout-out. Let me see what my time is going. Oh, eight. I think I'm, I think I'm all right. Um... I let me let me record. Let me, let me record. I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm responding to a message. That's why. That's why I'm saying I'm recording right now, man. Come on, man. They check. They check it on me. They make a show. I ain't dead. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. If, if, if the videos just suddenly stop, that means I died. That that means I'm experiencing the glories of heaven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, look, it's all. It's all. It's, it's. You know what I'm saying? All this then heaven for me. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm good. Don't, don't worry about me. Listen. Uh, where we at over here? Okay, look, 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 look. Let me let me do my shout outs real quick. Um, shout out to Dr- uh, Drama Dre, Drama Dre, <laughs> Drama Dre. My man said, "Yo, celeb, yo, celeb." I was kidnapped before, and I had my phone. Hey, that you keep your phone, bro? Yeah, bro. I called my mother to tell her I was about to die, and I want her to know I love her and my family. Damn, bro. He said the kidnappers pulled over. They opened the trunk and they checked my phone. They let me live because I didn't call the police. Uh, drama Dre, I feel like they, I don't think they let you live because you didn't call the police. I think they let you live for some other reason. Because that's a weird reason to be like, yo, let's let him live. He ain't call the cops. Let him out. He ain't call the cops. We'll let you live, bro, because you ain't call. Or maybe they told him that. Like, yo, you know what? Because you ain't call the police, we gonna let you ride. Yeah, but you saw their face. They're like, drama, you, you can't. Let me double check to see if drama added on. Because didn't I ask him? I was like, yo, drama, man, you can't stop the story right here. Don't be giving us no half stories and then, oh, oh, oh. But that's the end of it. Like, like, let me go check and see if drama Dre responded. Because, you know what I'm saying? He might have he said, like, no, you, you can't believe what happened next. Drama Dre. Okay, it says, yeah, he didn't even respond, bro. I said, did you know who did it? He's like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even say nothing. Thanks, Drama Dre. We don't know what happened to you. Except for the fact that you... He's like, I gotta wait. That's all you need to know. All right, we got it. We got it. He's like, if I tell you now, they're gonna kidnap me again. Okay, Drama Dre. We got it, bro. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm really glad you're here. Uh, Crown Me November said, yo, shout out to your peeps. He said, glad glad God kept the fence around her and kept her strong in her fight. Yes, yes. God kept the fence around New York peeps. He's uh, he's he's progressively healing. As she said, it was a time when she wasn't able to really type. You know what I'm saying? Because she was really jacked up, man. But now she's doing a lot better, man. So shout out to uh, New York peeps. Crown Me November, man, is um, is, is throwing up prayers for you, New York peeps, man. Much, you know, I, lo- I love y'all in the comments. I, I love the family we got right here. So that's source fam. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mo Deep. Mo Deep said. Mo Deep said. I'm gonna need a longer version of that intro beat. Constantly hit and rewind. It's not cutting it. <laughs> and Kevin was like, I feel you, fam. I feel you, bro. And look, 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 look. I put the beat on the gram. If you if you go to the gram, Celeb Sauce, the beat is on there. I look, I even did a couple of rhymes myself just to show some of y'all how to really rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh but you gotta go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Listen, lastly. Uh, Mubrim Rule, Mubrim Rule, Mubrim Rule. I don't know how to say that name. M U Brim Rule. Say yo, all right, man. Your topics are weak as hell. <laughs> I'm like yo, so it's perfect to you, bro. Uh, and Coco Davis said, um, <laughs> she said, take your business elsewhere. <laughs> uh, uh, I think she's talking about uh, T Mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, because look, Nor- Norba, Norba World said yo. Uh, they said sit your five dollar ad down before AT and T make change. I'm like, I can't take my business elsewhere. I took it to AT and T. They did like they when you bring it to them and then they like yeah we gonna cut your service and give you five dollars like ah slap me with a five dollar bill anyway um uh, let's get right back to it wrap this bad boy up all right listen um are you into the battle rap circuit I, I used to well I'm not gonna even say I used to be because I don't think I was I just used to watch a couple of battle rappers and I was like oh shoot this is kind of hot I I always liked battle rap I always thought it was kind of ill you know what I'm saying when I first heard of um, one one of the first battle raps that I saw that I remember really seeing. Like that, like that was um, uh, this dude, uh, Murder Mook and Sirius Jones. Okay, um, Murder Murder Mook was a battle rapper battling against that uh, Sirius Jones. The, the battle was hot to death. It was super hot. I loved it. You know what I mean? Uh, matter of fact, let me show you a clip that sticks with me today. Take a look real quick um, at, at Murder Mook. Okay, uh, at Murder Mook part. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. His was crazier. 
I think he lost that battle. I feel like he did. I, I felt I said he did, but I don't know if it was officially, you know what I mean, like stated that he did, but I feel like he did. Okay. Anyway, Murder Mook was arrested on live stream. I believe it was posted yesterday that he was arrested on live stream. Apparently, um, he tried to get the cops to leave, but but uh, was told his wife and daughter had called in to report his um, erratic behavior. I think he might have been drinking and stuff like that. And then, you know, things went left. Okay. Now, at first, the police told him they wasn't going to arrest him. He wasn't going to be arrested. Um, I guess they were waiting for like an EMS report, but eventually he did get arrested for the crime of... Um, uh, scratching his daughter's arm. Take take a look real quick. How are you still here? I'm not going to talk, but how are you still in my house? I don't want to talk to EMS. Could you leave? You didn't get invited into my room. You didn't get invited into my room, did you? No. My door was closed. You opened it. Could you please get away from me, please? Could you get out my room, please? Mr. Mook, I want you Why are you calling me Mr. Mook? Could you please get out my room? Because that's what you told me your name was. I told you, and I, and I told you to get out my house too. And you still, is this, is this, or is this? Am I under arrest? So why are you in my space? I don't want to speak to EMS. I'm drunk. I could be drunk in my own house. Instagram, love. I'm in my home. I'm not under arrest. Y'all are not here. Ooh, you're not under arrest. Could you please get away from my house? Could you get away from me? Why are y'all... Why... All right, you know what? Y'all just sit there and do all that all you want. Everybody get all of this out, please. I'm... You know what I'm... Yeah. He said, he said she scratched her own arm. Which, you know what? There's a part of me that kind of sort of... I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I ain't taking up for nobody. I kind of feel like she might cut have scratched her own arm. Cause if the cop, like if, if they call the cops and then somebody and then they show up and then, well I don't know the EMS was there and everything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I just know kids do hurt themselves. They can point to anything like, oh look, this little scratch. Yeah, you see the little welt and it'd be like, yeah, yeah, you're going to arrest. You're going to jail. You're getting arrested for that. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Um, uh, yeah, hopefully that whole situation gets squared away. Now everybody that saw that video, they was more concerned with like what his room looked like they was like yo his room's kind of messy um yo 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 clean your room you know what i'm saying like don't be having dirty rooms out here man because that's just a lot you know what i mean clean your room okay especially if you go go live and stuff like that you go <sighs> yeah yeah i understand the need to feel the go live when the cops show up i do understand that need but you know what i mean anyway what, what am i talking about let me see what we had over here uh, 15 all right look, look, look. and finally listen man um Big story about Wendy Williams, you know what I mean? Shock jock, Wendy Williams, right? Um, you know, it was stated that that she uh, was diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontal temporal dementia, okay? Her team released a statement um, last week. It said, Wendy would not have received confirmation of these diagnoses were it not for the diligence of her current care team, who she chose and the uh, extraordinary work of the specialist at Will Cornell Medicine. Receiving a diagnosis has enabled Wendy to receive the medical care she requires, okay? Close quote. Now, apparently her son, Hunt, uh, Kevin Hunter Jr., stated that doctors are under the belief that the dementia was alcohol-induced. Look at you putting your licks down and listening closely. It was stated, this is what it, is, it was stated, quote, Doctors basically said that because she was drinking so much, it was starting to affect her headspace and her brain. So I think they said it was alcohol induced dementia. Close quote. I didn't even know that that was a thing. You, you're like, yeah, you and me both. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. bro. OK, now um, he did say, I think it was alcohol induced dementia. Let me let me ask the interwebs. Uh, surely the interwebs will let me know. OK. Okay, so look, I asked the internet, right? Um, I looked it up. I asked, can dementia be alcohol-induced? Answer, yes. Alcohol-induced dementia, also known as alcohol-related dementia or alcohol-related brain damage, can occur uh, due to long-term excessive alcohol consumption. Chronic alcohol abuse can lead to cognitive impairment 
memory loss, and other symptoms similar to those seen in other forms of dementia. Let me pause right here. Lord, I'm praying for the people under the sound of this video that had no idea I was about to bust out into prayer, that are struggling with alcohol addiction. Please, Lord, give them the desire and the strength to break away from the power of this addiction and provide them with the support, Lord, necessary to walk alongside them during their breakup from this alcohol addiction in Jesus name okay um if you if you if you if you pray that with me say amen you like we didn't even know you was gonna pray hey look sometimes you gotta you gotta you gotta pop it out on somebody you know what I'm saying you gotta up you gotta up it up it real quick listen the next question I asked the interwebs was um let me see if I can pull it up because then I asked it I, I, I screenshot it the next question oh dang the next question I asked of the internet was let me see if I can find it um I said, I said, uh, what is an example of long-term excessive alcohol consumption? Uh, chat GPT told me, I asked chat the AI, okay? AI said, long-term excessive alcohol consumption could involve regularly drinking large amounts of alcohol over many years, such as consuming multiple drinks per day for an extended period of time. For example, Someone who consistently drinks several glasses of wine, bottles of beer, or shots of liquor every day for years could be considered to have engaged in long-term excessive alcohol consumption. So you know me, I like to mess around. I say, yo, yo, I said, um, I said, what is a I said, what is come on man, what did I I said, what is the probability percentage wise? of developing this kind of dementia with the pri with the prior example for a period of 10 years. In other words, if I drink excessively for 10 years, now obviously it's not going to be able to give me something accurate. I'm just trying to get a gauge. It said the probability of developing alcohol-related dementia over a 10-year period due to long-term excessive alcohol consumption can vary widely depending on individual factors such as genetics, overall health, drinking patterns, and lifestyle. I'm asking this for you. So don't be getting all acting like, oh, I want more news. I'm, I'm helping you out. Okay? Can you get it through your skull? Somebody trying to fix you here. You're like, I don't need to be fixed. Get off my channel. You know you need to be fixed. So stick around. Listen. It says, um, research suggests that the risk increases with higher levels and um, longer durations of alcohol consumption. It says, according to some studies, approximately 10 to 24 percent of chronic heavy drinkers may develop alcohol related dementia over a 10 year period. However, and, and I just said 10 years, if you was drinking for longer than that, then these numbers are obviously higher for you. It says it's essential to note that these figures are estimates and individual experiences can differ significantly. Seeking medical advice and support for alcohol dependence can help mitigate the risks associated with long term alcohol consumption. So um, that's what the Internet says concerning um, being addicted to uh, alcohol. You know what I'm saying? So um, listen, man, listen, listen. You know what I mean? Like I, I say this every couple of videos or whatever, because I actually believe it or not. I, re I care about the people that are listening. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is, this is heavy for me. You know what I'm saying? I want the best. I want what's best for you. So I, you know, I love you because I want what's best for you. You know what I mean? You done the time riding shotgun to alcohol. Now it's time for you to take the wheel and let alcohol walk the rest of the way. But not while you're drunk. Don't take the wheel while you're drunk. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like, like you listen, you gotta, you gotta quit the alcohol consumption. You know what I mean? You know you're going to go through withdrawals. It doesn't matter if you messed up two days ago. God sees you. God wants to help you break away from the alcohol addiction. Okay? Or any other kind of addiction. But listen, man. You got to remember this. God ain't soft, fam. Okay? An asteroid can tell you that. Okay? Teeth and diamonds can tell you that. God ain't soft. All right? And to break free, you may have to do it the hard way. All right? So man up. Okay? It's going to be tough. But you, but you could do it. You can handle it. We had some people that had addictions here. They checked themselves into rehab, man. And that's what's up. That's the hard thing. That's the hard thing to do. Okay, man up. All right. I've been addicted to things too, man. And, and look, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you what it is. It's either get down or lay down. You know what I mean? You're either gonna get down or you're gonna be made to lay down. It's your choice. All right. Yo, man. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.